Well, hello everyone and welcome yourselves back into Farthest Frontier. I hope you're having a great day. Feeling good. Just following you, Blind Ender, actually. <laughs> just gone into your house there. But uh, yeah, here we are. I'm just going to uh, give you a little bit of a run through, just so you can see where the town is at. Gorgeous, gorgeous little town that we've got going. Obviously, we smashed through a bunch of apiaries and we finally got prepping on what is our crop field. And we've got flax on the go as our first selection. I'm going to get rid of that hay now. Hey now. The reason we've got the uh, the flax on the go is so we can build our granary. That's the, the main reason, really. What I'm going to do is uh, start to get some of these in. So I'll probably go like that. And we'll see where we're at with weed levels after this one. If... If it's bad, we may do just a whole year of that and then get another farm in for rotation. We shall see. But yeah, we're all good. I think I'm going to continue trying to discover what's around the map. So we did do a bit of discovery up this way. And we have now found, wow, some really good deer spots. Another good fishing spot there. It might be worth the second housing going this way with a second, with the theater and stuff because of all these good bits or coming up high here no idea yet but we're still going to be looking for what um, resources we can find so I'm going to be flagging this way once again I'm just going to set off a couple uh, keep going this way I think the only reason I'm avoiding the other way is because of the uh, the boars and stuff they're just going to attack my my people and we're coming to our resources here Right, wrong one. I'm just coming into the food stores tab and we are looking at agriculture. So I'm just keeping an eye on how much wax we're using as opposed to producing. And the reason for that is because of the candles and then honey will be worrying about that when um, beer comes in. As you can see, the purple line is export, so we're not actually consuming any yet. And then we're fine. And then hopefully I can get onto linen clothing. Let's take a look at this though. Right. There's enough laborers for me to consider another farm okay so fertility if we go this way it's going to be i think we've got to come into this here so i'll have a second one on rotation of large size again over here as well and that's just so we can actually keep feeding our animals at the end of the day so we'll have a 12 by 12 we'll smash that in right there and we'll get the fence around in a moment actually i'll get that done now before we forget so uh traders are coming in but what I'll do is get the fence around and then destroy the other ones. They always come in through this way. There we go. And then I should be able to uh, demolish one of these out. And at least they can get through. I'll get rid of this one. But yeah, we'll take that row out eventually and we'll sort that out. Six livestock animals born. That's our chickens, by the way, if you're wondering. 21 already. We're just going to fly through the eggs. Eight months of food as well at the very beginning. But yeah, let's take a look then. Trader wants to buy this. Okay some raw iron it might be worth us continually buying that in i don't know whether just to start saving money in first though as you can see we do have certain things coming in one of the main ones is the basket so we got our third basket maker in which i'm gonna populate so that now makes six basket makers in total and once to, hopefully because of the amount of willow we have that should be good but other than that we're pretty fine this one's running a little bit lower but that does mean we can hunt over here and there we go, a double coal deposit over here. The water just keeps going as well, so we might need to build along this water edge. I think it's important that we get a road going towards these. So let's bring the road from here all the way up. And what we'll do with this one is kind of have a little outpost, because there is two normal ones, and then there's a deep coal deposit up here as well, which is really good. And then there's also two treasure locations as well. It's going to make my life a little bit easier getting the weapons in. And let's continue flagging this way. Predators. That is going to be the boars now constantly. They're going to be quite annoying. I might get a hunter's camp toward this as well. They give really good food, so it's not a bad idea. Let's just get one out here for now. That'll do. And then second trader is coming as well. Let's see what you've got going on. Number two. Baskets, cool. And then we've... Oh, look at this. Medicinal root can be sold now. And there is some flax there that we could have bought in if we want. There's also some wheat. I like it because you can get it for the one gold. Pretty handy. This is going to make us some good money, though. 600 there. 420 there. 
but let's get this town storage is getting pretty good with that already so we've done quite well we need to go on some kind of tool production so i think i'm going to spend some on the iron from trade number two here is it i'm talking rubbish who's got who's got the uh, iron there it is trade number one sorry we are going to attempt to uh, probably just 160 for now i don't want to use all my gold i didn't want to buy in stock either so let's transfer that to town storage and then i should be able to start smelting these iron bars so if we come in i'm talking absolute rubbish it's tier three to get those in so we can't do anything with the iron anyway okay that's fine then that makes it a little bit easier i completely forgot about that so yeah it's down here sorry the foundry is down here that will produce the iron bars from iron so we can't do that yet so what we can do is just try and work up um the kind of money and stuff then so we'll let it play and let's continue breaking down these you can grab your fences with this and salvage like that there we go so the two farms should be next to each other there's going to be a little gap but i can extend that out one and just have that filled anyway that's fine and then six immigrants coming in come on we're at 111 population so we've already bumped up a big amount what i'm going to do with the extra gold that's coming in is slowly increase the archer infantry and i'm going to go to eight let's just check in on our fletcher related okay 222 arrows this is really good we can also get in the weapons if we want but i'm not going to do it yet and then i'm also going to get the um not the granary we're going to get the windmill ready so it uses a heavy tool and that flax once it comes in and re will require the wheat now this yep bad desirability building but only a minimal amount we need to attach those roads but i think we have it over here and that's okay storage wise as well and then what we do is just attach those into there i think that road's a bit weird actually it's gone round, doesn't it bring this up now and then we want to well immigration's going well but we want to connect these in somehow and i think i'm going to come straight through the middle here there we go that gives us a bit of a way round to this as well so as soon as that wheat comes in sorry this flax will have a good amount then the wheat and we'll want to also with the extra ones get in our flax creation building clothe weaver workshop that's the one this one doesn't have bad desirability once again so we're gonna go i think i want to save that for a barracks if i'm honest or we go up there with the barracks hmm actually let's go in here just for now so we can keep it all pretty central we want it in range of most of this so once this gets upgraded it should cover that and then we'll be fine and now we need to consider a few more houses too so i think i will just take a look down here might be where we get a couple in so let's pop them into here i'm just going to make use of this this main zone first i'm going to leave maybe a bit of a slot there I think that works yep we get one more in there and then we got the well there okay i can get a couple down here and another one over here as well so i'll get one more here and then we're pretty much covered aren't we let's go and deal with this then so this is the boars that are going to be attacking our farmers so let's get the hunter's cabin prioritized over here and let's push them towards this I'm not sure why they're walking this far over but i'm going to get them hunted either way you know what it's kind of frustrating actually let's get you over here let's go deal with those boars we have some good potential for defenses by the way getting a couple of towers up on this little bit here would do the trick that's got some good height especially if they attack from down this way we still have no idea where they're going to come from though there appears to be a bear attacking my homes i need to turn on the wildlife there i didn't see that so let's grab our hunters here right can you come and shoot that and then you the butchering meat that's fine come and kill the bear as well that's fine and then i can turn off that i don't like to have all the name tags up too much it does make it lag a bit so we're going to see if they can do any damage to this bear here oh god go on hit him with that boat good shot i'm just gonna manually probably run you away there we go job done <laughs> you've got to be careful because the bears are pretty damn powerful and they will obliterate you so just keep that in mind 
All right, everything bar the flax is in for this one as well, which is great. And then, yeah, this hunter cabin coming in. Hopefully we can deal with those boars so they can get this cleared out. It's a lot of trees, but that will give us a good amount of wood as well. So we should be fine. But all in all, I think we're in a good position. We just want to let it kind of grow slow and steady. I'm just hovering over my food here. 110 fruits. And I'm pretty sure the glass maker is down here. That's the book binder paper mill. There it is. Glass maker is tier three. We might want to consider trying to get to tier three at some point. So we need one more homestead, 150 population, and then some resources. So the resources aren't bad at all. So for that, we can just go four up and we can make sure we go to 250 as max quota. And we'll max that one out as well. The reason is we need more than... It's 200 just for the upgrade, right? And then we can slowly start to amass some clay. We'll double the workers in there. And we'll get in a couple more houses. So we know that we can reach down here, don't we? Although I think it needs... That's my flagpole, so I might need to remove that out. Let's just double check. All right. I think we probably go here then. I'm leaving this space for a reason. I think we get one in here. And then when we can upgrade the marketplace, I think we'll be fine. We might be able to squeeze two, actually. Let's have a look. Yep, that'll work. And also one here. Well, that's kind of me wishful thinking. We do have a garden in place there. Let's see. Yep, that should cover it as well. So I can get different bits kind of in there. Hopefully another garden here as well. And then obviously once we hit tier three, we'll be able to get bricks and just get all the garden trails upgraded anyway. So they'll be in good standing. But yeah, I think that park going in there is a really good shout because look at it next to the school. It's a shame I can't remove that one little hedge there, though. If I turned it, that would have been nice, maybe, but looks pretty nice. I reckon we could put some benches along there and make it look good as well. Just trying to figure out how we can design it to make it look spicy. But yeah, we just had a big immigration once more as well. And there's the flax coming in, so... Good amount that we'll see, and also plenty of hay to last for a while inside of... Where does the hay store? I think it is over here, actually. It is. Okay, hay goes into the storage, which is full, so we're going to need another one. Let's go ahead and grab a second storehouse. I think that's still enough space for a barracks in there. Not ideal going right next to it, but what I might do is remove the... Uh, these guys and go around the town center i'm not sure yet I haven't decided on how we're going to do the defenses all right storage back on track we need to keep an eye on that because as we get the flax and stuff in it's going to use a lot as well but a weaver's building should start to use some so i'm just going to allow the two people to kind of make it looks like the last ones are going in so we still have 362 last ones are going into the windmill it will use a heavy tool and then this year we will be growing our first wheat. Weed level's not the best though. Not the happiest with that. And I'm not sure if this will be ready by next year. I'll leave it. We'll see. All right. We seem to have put the boars in their place at least. So let's continue flagging some of these zones. I've got one up there we're still looking at. I'm not sure they can reach that. But we basically want to look as to where another outpost could possibly go. This is a 100% one here because of all the coal. I would like to start stockpiling that at some point. So we may need to uh, consider one of these. So we'll probably go on the 7k. We might be able to grab both here with the one mine, actually. Yep. So if I go here, we can grab both with that one. And then we'll need a thingy, a temporary shelter over this way. And what we'll do is probably pop the temporary shelter just there. And then we'll need a second person in the wagon shop to prep for that. That's going to be a good spot. We definitely build this way purely because there's two infinite deep clays. Yep. Worst case is we can just keep buying in the iron as well. Which does remind me, let's make sure we are topping up where we can. We're getting a good amount of honey in, which is great. Might transfer that willow back out and then just try and sell the actual baskets. They're slowly ticking up. They're not the fastest but they they do earn good money once they come right that's cool we've got 33 income i'm still considering whether we need to get this healer's house in but 25 a month do i want to waste that right now as i said rather get the temple in but we are getting people ill so <laughs> i 
Oh, man. The range on this thing is insane. We can go wherever we want with this. But even, like, there reaches this whole district. All right, let's plan this out because I want a bit of a garden eventually for it later on. So let's come about here. A raid camp has attacked my village. Oh, my God. We are surrounded by raid camps, man. I have no idea how I'm going to deal with that. Right, cool. More immigration, though. As you can see, we just placed it down here, then. This will give a good bump to all of these, and I should be able to get the artifacts in. I really want to get the cheaper soldier one, so I can start bumping those numbers up. I'm also tempted to get in a defensive tower. And if we were being sensible when they come to the town hall, we'd put it over this way to cover our resources. It's better this side, though, I think. Might put it here. That still covers it, and it gives us a little bit of coverage on the um, towards the marketplace, which they might go. Let's do it. Villager has died. Succumbed to illness. I mean, fisherman died of disease. Oh, God, it's kind of telling me that I have to get the doctors in, isn't it? Okay, healer's house, then. We have a good spot for it here, don't we? Let's do it. It's good desirability. We'll have to sacrifice the income. We have the eight arch units. I think that'll be enough with the garrison plus our soldiers. I, I really don't know when the attack's coming, though. Not used to it taking this long. All right, we officially have two in the coal mine now. They, they are there uh, gathering ore in the winter. They're going to have bad travel time to start. What we're going to need to do is make sure this temporary shelter gets prioritized. And did I even... I came to do the wagon shop. And didn't even get it in. So we're going to need a second one in there now. Hopefully they can transport their goods because they're actually idle. But they won't be for long. So we officially have all those coal nodes. I probably don't need them on the map because I know they're there. But I wouldn't. I'm tempted to tick them. Clay we're, we're really good on. It's just going to be iron that's not the best. There is one down here. <gasps> yes, an infinite iron. All right, let's come this way. I didn't fully see what was around here. I reckon this might be a decent hill that could give us... Oh, and two clays as well. Three clays and water. Okay. Yeah, we need to deal with this one first. I'd like to come down here and see what's up. Realistically, I reckon we need a whole bunch of swordsmen to take that out. They are pretty tough. All right, let's get a few more things transferred in. Then hopefully good for selling. Might transfer some of those out. We can keep our baskets going. Oh, yeah, let's just transfer it all out. We don't need that in there. And then everything else I'll probably leave as is. Flax is looking good. Right. Weed levels on a downward trend. That should bring them back down to 60. This, I'm still not still not the best, so I might need to sacrifice. Hold on. Turnips have a four weed suppression. And a four there. So we'll lose yield. It needs to be under 40%. Hmm. And then flax has a three. I might need to sacrifice the wheat still, guys. I'm not happy with the the levels here. And I'm going to pick, go for buckwheat instead. It's the same same difference, pretty much. I might be able to, yeah, let's do that. Slightly less yield, but it's more hardy. It has a 10 out of 10 weed suppression. That should bring it down. Good heat tolerance as well, so we can have it smack bang in the middle. And it looks like the traders are coming in. We probably need to slow down on the old uh, thingies as well. Let's get this paused. We're not using up that heavy tool. And then let's see if there's anything. Okay, baskets. Good. All right, there's straight up iron here as well, which we I kind of want my vault. How much is 50? Try and transfer that. And then we'll sell the baskets on. All right, we can pretty much make it back, which is good. And we'll wait for the next trader. There's a shard of Markovian's blade as well. Soldiers and guards do 15% more damage. It's a really good one. But temple's not quite ready. And look at these livestock being born as well. The slaughter's happening. We are good. Look how many. 254 eggs a year. Is it 20 meat per chicken? I have no idea, but that's pretty good. We'll take it. As you can see then, the rates on this have gone down. Because the healer's house is now in. The temple's also going in, so we're going to be into a negative, actually. I need to consider what I'm going to do. I might need to uh, toggle off the tower for that extra five gold. And then we need to get something in that's going to help. Second farm is good to go, though. We will be able to at least start 
raking, which is good. So I'll start that. There we go. We'll go for a double rake. Get the rockiness down. Then we'll hit up Clover Clover Rake. I might go for three years on this one. Let's see where they're at with that, though. And then the soil mixture. I'm just going to dink 10 in there to bring it more central. Might even go one more. There we go. Yeah, we got 20 clay in that one just to bring it a little bit over. And we'll let those guys do their thing. That should bring it down pretty well. Right. I'm going to pause the temple for a moment. I don't need the buff just yet. We're They're still happy. Obviously, the faith is a problem, but I'm concerned about our monthly thingy. So we've got to wait for that to go down before we consider anything else. And I do want to fill out this uh, archer company. I'm wondering whether a full squad of archers could do it. I probably could with a bit of micromanagement. We don't have the gold to actually hire them yet, but I don't think eight's enough. I might be able to do it with 12. We shall see. Okay. Oh, it's only 25 iron for the vault. So we're okay. Question is, where can I put it? What's the range of the barracks? Here's good. Hmm. Part of me wants to uh, put the second barracks up there now, and we go with the thingy in here. Yeah, let's go the vault there for now. Again, we can always move stuff around. It's nice and easy in this game. You can move it all later on. All right, we finally got that next trader in. Let's see what you're working with. Okay, baskets are good. What else? You had some goats and some cows. Nothing that we want at the moment. Look at our smoked meat. But yeah, we'll get those selling. And what I'll do is transfer a few hundred into town storage here. What I'm going to do is um, basically buffer. It looks like we can get our hunter's camps upgrade with these iron as well. That could be pretty good, actually. Because they lay traps. But I don't think we need to worry yet. Now, what we're going to do is get our four archers in. So that's another 16 gold. But I'm going to make use of those for now. Crops lost to animals. Oh, the deer. Oh, dear. <laughs> right, where's my hunter? Put you farming the boars as well, just to keep them out. But what I'm going to do beforehand is just grab you. Come and kill this deer right here. You missed. There you go. Two carcasses in there. And let's have a gander here. I think we're going to have to demolish the road for a second. I think those two pieces might do it. Our orchard's in the way otherwise, but we'll see. I think we'll just bring the path naturally this way instead. I could bring it this way across the river as well. That could look pretty cool. Yeah, let's do it from here. Nice natural curve in there. Bring that that way. Okay. I think you need to sort everyone. You're struggling with water. There is one right here. Might need to spend a little bit of this iron just getting one upgraded. It does give a boost to how they're feeling as well. But we are covered pretty much anyway. Checking quickly on the harvest just to make sure they are good. I think mainly fine. Let's chop down a few more trees then. Just keep them going. And then we'll just double check. It looks like everyone is good. So I'm just going to test out this. Can we... I can get my archer units and bring them this way. Here they come. They are fun. I'm not sure what this one does. Can I use them? Oh, I can. You can double click them. Or is that because I've got them selected there? Either way, though, I'm going to bring them to shoot on a couple of these towers. See how they get on. I'm going to do it a little bit slower. Looks like their range is enough to kill one, actually. Oh, maybe I was worrying about this a bit too much. Oh, my God. You guys are beasts. Yeah, them boys. I think they sorted the archers. They used to be a bit annoying. I'm just going to bring them back a little bit. What we want to do is bait them in as much as we can. I don't really want to lose anyone. He might die. Oh, God. One archer dead. We're fine. They're pretty tanky, actually. That was a full flurry. Yeah, you're dead. All right, you are going to pull back a second, and then the rest of you... I'm going to come in and deal with this. I don't know. The tower I'm not concerned about, as you just saw. It's the... Um, are they archers? Oh, they're archers right there. Let's deal with those. I think the actual town hall... Why do they run in? I want you to shoot your arrows. Right, we pretty much lost them all there. I'm just going to go for a full loose on those. They were a sacrifice that needed to be made. 
just so I can kill all these off. I think, I'm not sure if they replenish either. Come on, guys. Loose. Good. Good stuff. Well, we lost two so far. I, I'm okay with that. Let's just check our people. Yep, we're fine. I can still deal with this. I don't know whether just to sacrifice this unit here. Why are they running in like that, though? See what I mean? They should be shooting. It does regenerate, by the way. I'm not convinced this is enough. That's better. I think they only shoot range when they're a bit further out. That's three dead. We have killed the units, though, and one tower. Hmm, let's see what sort of damage we can do to this before we die. I'm, I'm okay with these being sacrificial. That's better. They're shooting. Thank you. What you were meant to do in the first place. Maybe it's just a little bit buggy on attacks here, but I think we win this one. Three deaths. We'll take that. That's not bad. And it clears this zone so I can actually expand and take a look. Oh, my God. Here we go. Two crossbows for the uh, the thingy as well. We've got a halberd, shield. So we can start getting some soldiers in. We've got a good amount of weapons. We've got first few shields as well, which is good. What I'm going to do is make sure these guys, these nine archers, do go and finish off. What are you doing? Go and attack that. I've got a feeling that's higher up, though. It might be able to reach us. They're doing it again. Oh. Unless they've run out of arrows. I'm going to let them go back. All right, we're going to send them back purely so I can get them healed up and regenerated. I think I'll just stay with that, though, for now. Decent. They get a little bit of veterancy, I think, once they come in as well. Look at that. Veteran tree increases damage and increases health. It didn't do that before, so the longer you can keep them alive, the better. Good to know that we can take them out, there. That was a bigger one, too, I think. Similar size over here. And I think... Is that the generic size? Possibly. All right, how are you doing? Okay, the raking is bringing both down incredibly. So what we'll do is get rid of that one. It looks like the raking's better than the clovers for bringing it down. So we'll go for fertility up with that one. Raking to bring it all the way down. And then this year we should be good for some generics. I think we'll go with that. Just to make sure our food levels are staying high to keep people coming in. And it looks like we're going to be getting pretty close to getting this up. We're just going to need to make 2,000 gold. It's going to be through the sales. We're on 133 pot. Play is almost here. And planks are halfway as well. All we need is uh, someone come and buy this honey. Jobs are good. Un. I also may sell a couple of these just temporarily. They sell pretty well. About 18 each, I think. So... Let's just reduce the linen clothing down a little bit. We'll keep some in surplus for us, and then we'll just continue. Basket's not doing as well as I'd like. Not creating as many as I'd like, but maybe I need to just spam them. Let's just double-check their walking distance. Here, yeah, travel time's incredible on these guys, so they shouldn't, they shouldn't really be having too much of a problem. Make 21 per year. I guess we're using quite a lot of them as well. And let's go ahead and make this... A little bit more stable. I'm going to use some of the planks, but that's fine. All right, so we have our vault in place as well. I forgot to say. So let's go ahead and make sure we're not storing these in here. So we want to uh, probably get our luxury items into here. So weaponry, all that kind of moving over. So it's just gold. I think I thought iron goes in there as well, no? gonna untick that one pretty sure iron does i think we is it because we've got none and then i'm just gonna untick our goodies into there so all weaponry and armor go into our storage bar the crossbows obviously now what is it to upgrade that we might be able to get the crossbows earlier so let's check in on our fletcher workshop which is right in here Okay, 40 brick. It might be worth buying those in, and then we can start producing crossbows. I think the problem with crossbows, does it take iron? I think it's one iron bar, isn't it? Need to consider that as well. All right, going to replace them. Time to get my archers in. What I'm trying to do is get their damage up, right? If we can keep these alive for a long time, I'm going to send those in, though, once they're ready. We'll clear out this one, and we'll try and get their veterancy up as much as we can. I'm not sure whether you need to actually kill raiders, though. Uh, we can send them out just hammering. I don't know if you can level them up by shooting deer and boar. We can try it. We shall see. But we'll get through this winter bit here. And see how we get on. Alright, just taking a look. Look at this. Rockiness going up. I thought 
raking reduced removes rock from fields reduce weed levels and removes yeah provides a chance to reduce weed levels and remove rocks from fields and then clover just increases fertility the so rockiness really should have gone down i think once we get the fertility in that should take us to about 60. hopefully we can have those right down and we'll get almost the full yield this year not as good as we would have liked i think we got a decent yield of buckwheat though i have no idea oh, okay it's turned into the grain from the buckwheat that's good so we can start milling that into flour we don't have our bakery yet though the bakery costs money as well but does make us money from the food we can sell which is bread so let's take a look it's no there's no upkeep to it so it might be worth getting it in baker oh baker you fit really well here but you don't reach those top houses get that prioritized bakery is going in there bread oh glorious bread let's turn that back on all right in it goes we just need 25 stone for that so we might need to find a couple more stone spots to sort out we're getting a bit more illnesses in now as well let's get in let's go for stone and let's just have a bit of a rag see if we can find one there's one another one and one down here the water usually has some around there's another one there as well i'm concerned about this but i reckon now's the time let's get them full send this i wish you could have them just shoot their arrows nothing else they're on their way though let's see what they do because sometimes they just try and hack it and if they do that that's not ideal so i'm just going to slow it down so we don't lose them yeah, that's perfect they are shooting it should be job done i think they ran out of arrows my is my guess this should go down almost instantly though cool completely clear i might go on a bit of a scout mission with them down here whilst we can and then we'll send them home then go check out what we got knocking about but we are officially into the eighth year now oh my god is this water all the way around that is a game changer if it is okay we can force where the raiders come from if that's the case mountainous region another infinite iron there's a wolf then there's a relic site good i do want to deal with those merchants in a moment let's bring them this way then that map edge right this is map edge here get them hopefully killing these wolves there's the next one let's get that one as well oh there's three in this one wolf dent four okay don't let it kill you there you go right killed all the wolves right map edge then so i think building towards this is a good idea the reason so is the iron we've got an excavation site sand 17,000 gold there as well right i think that's decided where we want to go to and we've got a good amount of water from all the oh another iron yep this is the mountainous region we needed and it's pretty there's another iron up there there's usually a good amount on these isn't there and then we're pretty much covered by the lake cool let's send them back then so we now have at least that covered so i can see them all on the map here plenty of deer and stuff going through there and let's go into our trader now then and let's see what they've got for us or what they want to do so bricks that we could buy and we're actually in a negative so we do need to be careful but uh i think that's fine now here we go i kind of am going to sell those because it's not very often they do offer them See if there's anything else reduced that's the clay we need they're also buying the honey which is great that's another 700 and then we'll sell those off that puts us in good we need 2k for the upgrade so that helps a ton bring it in so we can buffer our thingy here now what we can do is disable or get rid of two people we'd still be in a surplus but i actually think the bakery will bring us the money and once it starts going once it starts baking bread we'll be serving it in the market let's get a second one in there as well so we can cover it but guys that is going to be where i end this one out for the day thank you so much for joining me really really appreciate it we've made some good progress i think all in good standing prepping everything ready and we are good got rid of our first raider camp so i'm very happy with that we might just single them out and do one at a time without like lack of losing maybe that's what i'm thinking but as always thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already all that stuff and i really appreciate you hope you have a great day i'll see you soon